whenever someone's going down the line, often they go through a section and then they go in a pocket section where snaps have to be performed. These are high speed maneuvers that you can do them. Sometimes you can do them by putting the hand down and doing the turn around the hand. But preferably the better one to do is where you do it where your hand is up behind your back, doesn't touch the wave face, and that allows your body to twist and rotate uh, in, in the correct sequence. And what that twisting and rotation does is it gives you a whipping off the top and allows you and brings the board underneath you. So when the when the hips come into play, they turn the board forcefully, and that's what brings the board underneath the surfer at the end of the snap maneuver. The use of the hips. Here's Tadiana coming around and see her hips really working hard to bring that board around at the end. There are three types of snaps. And the first one is where you look down the line and you bring the hips around to point the board directly to the bottom of the wave. Or look to the bottom of the wave and then that allows your board to come around a little bit more than what it did before. And then the third one is where you look back to, where, to the base of the foam and that allows you to do the biggest and strongest snap of the lot. The, the thing about it is that the, the head turn... The upper body, the upper torso turning, is designed to allow the hips to rotate. So twisting of the upper body unlocks the hips, and that's the thing that brings the board around in an effective and radical way.